Hello, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Storytime Sunday or welcome to my channel if you're new. It's Storytime Sunday. Storytime Sunday means that I post story times on Sunday. It's in the title. So yeah, what up? If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And yeah, I gotta stop making noise. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, so let me get let me get the sip of this drink because it's gonna get really juicy. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. This juice is the bomb. All right. So the story time was about the time when your girl was working at Five Guys. I started working at Five Guys about three years ago. Your girl was desperate for a job. Yeah, they were looking for someone to take responsibility, and I was like, yo, like, your girl is responsible. You know, I've been working in a restaurant for like a long time. I know how to be responsible. So I applied for the job, right? Maybe within like two weeks, I got a phone call from the manager. We spoke over the phone and they really liked my energy. So they called me into an interview. I think he hired me on the same day of the interview. So I was pretty hyped. He introduced me to the manager that was there, like the head manager that works there and a few of like the other employees and then there was like other like supervisors too. and they call them gray shirts like if you know about like five guys usually the regular employees wear red shirts and then like the ones that are like the boss peoples were would wear gray shirts are like so unfortunate but i remember at one point okay there was like two girls like with two gray shirts and i introduced myself to like both of them and one was really friendly and the other one was like really so the gray shirt with attitude i'm gonna call her carla and the main gray shirt which is like the head and manager of the store like i said i'm gonna call her touching the booze when the game <laughs> no joking mm. i want to give her an ugly name because she's really mm. i'm gonna call her ug <laughs> the pair of Uggs? Okay. So yeah, so I'm gonna call the head manager Uggs. Or Ugg. You know, I started to work, everything was okay, but when you start working at Five Guys, they have their own type of like Bible. Yeah, they have like different chapters saying, you know, what they expect from you and like all the policies and everything. You know, it's a Bible. You gotta fall you gotta obey the Bible basically. I got hired at the same time as this other guy and the other guy turned out to be um director's brother or whatever, so I, he didn't go through the same thing as me just because yeah, I was a new one and I didn't know anyone, I didn't have no hookups. Like like I said, I applied and I got like randomly selected and I got hired. So basically we were training at the same time, me and this guy. His name is not important because he didn't do anything to me, so I'm not even gonna mention him. So I met a few people, they were cool, and we didn't really have any problems with any and anybody. But the only problems that I had was with, at first, because at first, Ugg was okay. She was okay, she was like, you know, doing her job. I always knew that she had a little sass in her and that she was like extra, but you know, usually I do what I gotta do and I mind my own and you know, I do not bother or, or instigate anything. You know, unless if someone bothers me, you know, so I'm just doing my thing. When Carla was there, she would always give me a rough time. She would always try try to like randomly quiz me and like do weird stuff. I wasn't training, but like they would mainly put me at the cash and everything because I was so good with it. Like I'm used to talking at the cash, you know, I got experience while working at the cash. Like I have experience while working in the kitchen as well. But my place was more at the cash, I want to say. While you're working the cash, when you're working at Five Guys, if you don't know, you have to be on the floor, cleaning up, like picking up like the the stuff off of the floor, the tables, cleaning the tables. Everything is spick and span. So that's what I would take care of, right? So, but when you're working behind the counter, you have to be wearing like a sort of apron. And then when you head on the floor, you have to take it off. So sometimes like, you know, you're in between clients and you're trying to, you know, manage everything. You're like, okay, like I gotta serve my clients, but I also gotta make sure my place is clean and the bathroom is clean because also I have to check the bathrooms, right? So sometimes in between times, I would forget to take off my apron. So I remember one time, I'm just like, you know, there on the floor, picking up stuff. And then Carla yells like, Shanique, take off your apron. Really? Like that wasn't necessary. Like, she, and, she, and she was doing the most because that day on top of that, there was like two of the other um, 
big managers that was there so i think she was just doing the most to like find something that i'm doing wrong she always was on my freaking case i think that this girl was low-key into me like i don't know if it was one of those people you, you know like um arnel and that a girl that liked her that would always call her football head i mean that would always call him a football head you heard me pal i love you love you who else do you think has been stalking you night and day building shrines to you in a closet filling volumes of Cause this girl was always on my freaking case and i was so fed up remember this one day as well yo i came in like probably like a minute or two late right i'm really a sincere person i was late you know more than once never like too much to say that i i'm not serious hey this one day so i go into the front and carla's like why are you late don't make it happen again okay and also ug which is the manager she sent another employee. He was on the verge of getting the gray shirt. He didn't have the gray shirt yet. Sends Carl to come see me. Why were you late? And I'm just like, well, there's like no particular reason or whatever. She's like, okay. And the UG sent me to talk to you to, to figure out what's going on. Is there something going on that we need to know? Like, what's going on with your life? Why are you late? I'm like, no, like, there's no problem. I'm sorry about it. Like, yes, I admit to it, but there's nothing going on. I'll do better. And I was just thinking to myself, like, why isn't uh coming to tell me this on her own and then carl says and yeah i'm telling you because ug sent me and it, and if she was the one that would talk to you she wouldn't have talked to you in the matter that she would have liked so that's why i prefer to come talk to you why is she doing that you know like why is she sending someone else to do her job it's not that serious i'm not gonna fight you like, i never showed any signs of being violent but square up though square the you know square Ugh. I was just like, this is really weird. Like, what is this environment? And I always felt like everyone was so close to each other. And I was just like the other one out. Everyone had a special bond but me. And just because Carla and Ugg was so, like, iffy, I didn't want to be a part of them. I was just there for my coins anyway. So, at that time, I used to sell a lot of, like, accessories and stuff like that. You know, I had, like, my own little business going on. Your girl has always been a hustler. Always trying to find new things and new ways to express herself. And get that coin. So I remember this one day, my friend Jessie, you know, she was supporting my business. She wanted to buy a few things off of me. Come see me at like 12. My break is at 12. So she pulled up, all right, and I ordered my food. Because like when you're working at Five Guys, you're allowed to have one free meal. I ordered a poutine box for my fries on the side with my sauce on the side and my cheese on the side. That way I could control how much ingredients are going into my food. And if I want to bring some fries home later, I have some. So I got my takeout bag. I went to sit down. And Jesse came, like, maybe 10 minutes after or something like that. I was sitting there eating. And I had my puts in, right? But there was so much food because I ordered, like, a burger and had my puts in. I wasn't about to eat the whole, like, the whole puts in. Jesse was there. And I was like, okay, girl, do you want some? Because I'm not going to finish it. And she's like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, like, your friend is there. You're going to offer her some food. You're not just going to eat in front of her face. I didn't think anything of it. We we're just talking, having a good time, all that stuff. So finally, Jessie leaves. You know, I think I sold her a few things and she left. Later on in the day, Ugg wasn't there. The other manager came for the other shift. At one point, she asked to talk to me. And I was like, okay, sure, like, no problem. Okay, she sits me down and she's like, Shanique, she didn't she read our Bible before working here? Our Five Guys Bible. Didn't she read that Bible? And I was like, yes. Like, I went over it with Ugg, Lee. And she's like, yes. So it says right here in the Bible at Psalms 3 verses 5. You can tell that I don't read my Bible. <laughs> See here on page 356, chapter 2, whatever, that you're not supposed to share your food. Look, like Shanique, to be quite frank, I do not mind if you're working on a shift with me and order food and, you know, you give it to a friend. I do not mind. But... Ugg doesn't like that you did that. And mind you, Ugg was on the shift while I did that. She was still on the shift. She was there the whole time and she saw me do it. Why didn't Ugg come talk to me about it? Why did she have to send freaking, what's her name? Uh, the other manager. You know, but like I've seen people order food that work here and share with their friends or like buy for their friends. You know, and I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think I was doing anything bad because, like, I bought the food for myself. 
And just because there was like an extra amount of food, I offered it to my friend. Usually I don't share food. I'm gonna sh- you think I want to share my food or like give my meal away, my free meal away? Only reason why I used to eat at Five Guys is just because I wasn't vegan. And two, there was no microwave. So like it would just suck to always eat cold foods. I mean, the food was free. So I want to eat it for free. If I can have it for free, if there's no microwave, I'm going to eat it, you know? It's like, okay, well, look, you know, this is what happened. And, like, she wanted me to talk to you about it. And, yeah, like, I just wanted to tell you, like, you know, so just be careful. I remember doing the shift, like, I was so, I was so pissed, guys. You guys do not understand how pissed I was. Like, I wanted to cry. I wanted to scream. I was boiling up, basically. I was at the cash. I was turning people. I was trying not to cry because... I was so angry. I was like, I can't do this anymore. Just the fact that, like, Ugg never came up to me and told me how she felt or, like, if I did something wrong. You're my boss. Come to me with the problems and tell me that's what a boss should do. It seems that she doesn't grasp that. But as a manager, you should know that. Like, you don't send your minions to go do your job. I was just thinking to myself, like, yeah, I want to quit. I can't say this anymore. Like, what is this? Are you freaking serious? And I knew that I wouldn't have any job to go to after that. But like I was just so... My soul didn't take it at all. I didn't like the fact that there were hypocrites. You know, like I felt like they were just talking behind my back. And usually when you feel some type of way, to be honest, it's actually true. So I told the manager, the evening shift manager, like, Hey, I would like to talk to you at the end of the shift or whenever we have time so she pulls me aside I'm like look like I don't want to work here anymore I am fed up like I quit this is like my last day she said why I said well because I didn't appreciate the fact that you had to tell me about something that Ugg was mad about and she's she's my manager she's the one that was there when I got hired how come she can't tell me how she's feeling that she doesn't like the way that I'm working or you know so on for it like why do you have to be the one to come tell me well I'm sorry um is there something I can do I said no it's not you like honestly I really respect you because you came to me and you told me exactly how you felt you know you did what you were told to do so I can't say anything about that like I respect that you came and told me that but I just feel like there's a lot of hypocrites around here and I cannot stay here I do not feel comfortable here so yeah this is my last shift i'm gonna finish my shift i'm gonna leave and it is all she's like okay like yeah i guess i understand and then i walked away from that job have i been back there yes i've been back there because their fries are bomb and they're vegan even their gravy is vegan for the puts in sauce well when i was working there apparently it was um vegan the cheese isn't vegan but anyways like you know like i go there from time i don't go there all the time but like sometimes mainly in the summer if i have cravings i'm not gonna stop myself from going there Advice, if you're working in an environment like that, my advice to you is just to leave because that's really toxic. You don't want people talking about you. Unless if you don't really care and you're just like, oh, I'm just here for my coins. But anything, but for me, energy is a big thing. And for me, in order for me to be well grounded, I need to be surrounded by good people or at least like, you know, in an environment that I don't feel like, I mean, even the boss is against me, you know, and like, I'm not gonna work for some place that's like that. You know that everyone is talking shit about me and people that are supposed to be my bosses are treating me like that no so my advice to you is that you know if you don't feel comfortable just leave and yeah you don't owe them anything you know it's all about you and thank you so much for watching this video if you really liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up i post uh, videos like this every sunday and also vegan recipes on tuesday so make sure you subscribe to that okay i love you guys so much and yeah see you guys share like bye